I really wish I wasn't saying this, but we have yet another underwhelming movie in the Toy Story universe. Lightyear stars Chris Evans, Kiki Palmer, Taika Waititi, and Peter Son. While spending years attempting to return home, marooned space ranger Buzz Lightyear encounters an army of ruthless robots commanded by Zerg who are attempting to steal his fuel source. Now going into this movie, I was so excited. It was my third and most anticipated movie of the year. I am a huge fan of the Toy Story franchise. Two of the movies in that quadrilogy ranks among some of my favorite movies of all time. And I remember when they announced this thing on Disney Plus Day back in 2020, I was so excited. I remember screaming hearing that Chris Evans was gonna be the voice. That sounds awesome. But much to my surprise, I came out of this fairly underwhelmed. Don't get me wrong, it's a good movie, but I was wishing for just more. With a Pixar movie, you know you're going to have some stunning animation. Pixar continues to up themselves with each and every single movie. And, and they have now gotten to a point where this movie is so ultra realistic. The animation is incredible. The little details that you see on the big screen, whether that's space, the stars, or just like features on someone's body. I don't know how they do it, man. They just keep outdoing themselves. The characters are fun. Chris Evans as Buzz Lightyear is great to no one's surprise, really. With the whole, is he as good as Tim Allen? Is he better than Tim Allen? I think that's stupid. We need to put that to rest. They're both great as Buzz Lightyear. And the entire voice cast is good. Kiki Palmer, Taika Waititi, he's always fun to see. But I think the MVP, and I'm sure a lot of you will agree with me on this, the MVP, no doubt, Socks the Cat. I am Socks. Your personal companion robot. My what? He's very much so the new Baymax in my opinion. He's kind of not the brightest of characters. He's a robot very much like Baymax. But he's so impeccably funny, the comedic timing, all of it works with his character. He was hilarious. I definitely feel like every kid is gonna want a Socks the Cat toy. Hell, I might even want one. The movie is fairly fast paced. At the start, it moves very quickly. You get right into the story. You know exactly what the movie's gonna tell, the story's gonna tell. I think a lot of people are gonna come out of this movie saying, like I am kind of saying, it's a big fun space adventure. Very similar to the likes of Star Wars. It has some interstellar in there, some Martian. And I think you should go in knowing that it is basically just that and not much more, unfortunately. Because I came out of this movie fairly underwhelmed and wish it just made a stamp in pop culture like so many of the other Toy Story movies have done. You have some very high standards, you have some big shoes to fill, and I don't feel like this movie does that. This is a movie that is more so just in the Toy Story universe. It is not necessarily anything like the Toy Story movies. They're more lighthearted and they tell a really strong message. Lightyear features little glimpses of that, but I don't feel like they do it to the extent that Toy Story does. Even going further than that, how well Toy Story does it. For a Pixar movie, this feels very generic. Like I mentioned, the movie sets up the story very early on, and I knew exactly where everything was gonna go from there. To a degree, it is fairly predictable. I guess I was just expecting more from Pixar. They, most of the time, break boundaries, tell these grand stories in a movie targeted at kids. Here, it, they don't do much of that. It is a space adventure and nothing more, which is unfortunate and definitely ties into why I am feeling underwhelmed. The movie is pretty cheesy at times too, especially when you get to the third act. There were some moments, some dialogue that I was like, uh, supposed to be heartwarming stuff, but I found it to be just too cheesy. A lot of the things that happen with Buzz's character, I feel like that ties into the cheesiness. I would have preferred if they took it maybe a little more seriously instead of just doing what so many other movies have done and just making it generic. And something else that this movie, in my opinion, I feel is lacking, the Pixar emotion. When you think of a Pixar movie, you think of a movie that's probably going to need some tissues. You're going to need some tissues. You're going to probably cry throughout. Whether that's one point in the movie or multiple points in the movie, Pixar is kind of known for having that one scene at least that will have the tears flowing. This movie has that scene, but it does not work, I feel. It is too early on, in my opinion, and I don't feel like you have the attachment to the specific character that is involved in the scene for the scene to really pay off. You don't feel that emotional payoff. I didn't feel the moment, and that's what I was wishing I did. I wanted to be more engaged in the story. It was just too early on, and I feel like they didn't do a good enough job of setting up the characters as well as they could have. There could have been a knockout scene in the third act that could have worked very well, and I feel like they could have thrown an emotional scene in there. 
but they don't have it. The third act just plays out how you think it's gonna play out. And they put the emotional scene early on in the movie, but it doesn't pay off because you're not as invested. This is all just in my opinion, of course. If you felt that way, you got emotional, I'm very happy that you did. But for me, I didn't feel any attachment to that scene. Now I was talking about how the movie is fast paced, but there is a huge chunk into the movie that just drags. After Buzz meets Kiki Palmer's character, the movie just slows down. The beginning, fast paced. The middle, slow. End, fast paced. So that's why I said it was fairly fast paced, but there's that big chunk that just drags. I found myself checking my phone, checking the time. When was this gonna end? So that middle portion I wish was maybe more tight. It just did so many things that other movies have done and that's why I wasn't as engaged and I just felt that it was dragging. I knew where the story was gonna go. At times I did feel like they were stretching out the runtime just to have a longer one. And finally my last big complaint, Zerg feels totally wasted. You could have done so much more with this character. It's actually frustrating because I was looking forward to learning more about him. They set up a really cool dynamic in Toy Story 2. You're eager to learn more about who this Zerg is. He's fairly mysterious. But it said they decided to put him not in the movie enough have little to no depth, and of course, make it an easy and simple explanation as to what he's doing. I won't get into specifics, no spoilers, but what they do with this character is so safe, you could see it coming. I'm sitting here frustrated because I wish that they did more. Just a heads up, there are three post credit scenes in the movie, so make sure you stay throughout the entire credits. But what they do may or may not set up a sequel. And it ties into Zerg. And I'm annoyed that I have to say that I'm wishing that they do more with this character in another movie, because you could have done more in this movie. That's my big overall thought on the movie. You could have done more. Check your expectations at the door. If you're looking for a space adventure, a fun one, you will probably enjoy this movie. And I enjoyed it to a degree. The characters are fun against socks as the standout, but the movie is a lacking emotion. It's generic, you know where it's gonna go kind of predictable. The animation is top notch and it's so good. And I wish that I could say this movie is so good, but instead it's just fine. I'm gonna give Lightyear a C plus. It sucks that I came out of it underwhelmed and fairly disappointed, but I wanna know what your thoughts on Lightyear are. Did you like it? Were you disappointed like me? Let me know down below in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this review and if you did enjoy it, consider giving it a like as well as subscribing and hitting that notification bell to be notified whenever new videos like this go live. Look forward to my Toy Story ranking coming very soon. Thank you again so much for watching. My name is Ben, people call me Meter, and I'll see you guys in the next one.